there are some very wrong ways to clean your VR headset. And I'm gonna show you how to clean the VR headset body, the lenses, the controllers, the facial interface, and the head strap, as well as mistakes to avoid and how to care for your headset. All these headsets other than the Quest Pro are all white, so inevitably they get grubby over time. In fact, in less than a week, my PSVR 2 headset was really grubby. Where possible, it's easier to take everything apart, so take off the facial interface and the head strap. With the PSVR 2, this is all fixed, so don't go yanking stuff off that's not meant to come off. And also, taking everything apart doesn't mean using a screwdriver and a hammer. Just take things apart that come off easily if you've totally neglected your headset, you may have bigger bits of dirt and crumbs in and around the lenses, and the last thing you want to do is wipe these away as you may cause more damage. So I used canned air or a soft lens brush, or you can get one of these blower brushes. If you're using canned air, don't shake the can. Just keep it upright and do a quick spray away from the headset, and then continue to blast away onto the headset itself into all the gaps. If you shake the can, the liquid propellant inside the can may spray out and splatter all over your lenses and your headset. Now you need to get some alcohol free and detergent free cleaning wipes. With these you can wipe the body of your headset and pay particular attention around the buttons and areas where you make the most contact. But at this stage avoid the lenses and avoid the cameras. To get into any of the grooves you can use the wipe and then stick your nail into the groove or you can use a piece of card or folded paper. Don't use anything harder as you may cause damage. You can also use earbuds and I use the ear bud to poke the wipe deeper into the grooves and the gaps and then I move it along with the earbud. If you've got PSVR 2 where the interface doesn't come off, at this stage you can continue to wipe that down at the same time. The controllers are quite simple to clean using the wipes. Take off any covers you may have and again you can use a lens brush or the canned air to get into any of the gaps. If you've got the Quest 2 and you have the original stock strap still on, this can be soaked in hot soapy water and you kind of use the strap to rub against itself to bring out any of the dirt and then you hang it on a radiator or in an airing cupboard to dry out. If you have a replacement facial interface, these are usually PU leather and can just be easily wiped down. With the stock facial interface with the Quest 2, you can use some tape to remove hair and excess bits of dirt and then you can just wipe it down with another wipe. So the final stage is the lenses and the cameras and for that you'll need a microfiber cloth and a lens pen. Start from the inside of the lens and work in circles towards the edge and if you have stubborn marks this is where you can use the lens pen which has a firmer lens cleaning pad on one end and a brush on the other. Once your headset lenses are done then you can clean your camera lenses and you can wipe these quickly with the microfiber cloth. Things to avoid, don't use water on any part of the headset. Don't breathe on the lenses. The acid on your breath can damage the lens coatings. And don't use your t-shirt or your jumper. When not in use, try and keep your lenses covered. You can buy specific covers for your lenses or you can just use a pair of socks just to stop them getting knocked. And also don't leave your headset in direct sunlight because this can damage your lenses. You don't have to deep clean your headset like this every week but I would at least do it every month to keep it in mint condition. Keep on top of cleaning your headset lenses and your camera lenses in particular because this does affect image quality and tracking. For more VR tips you can watch these videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.